The Dodge Durango started life as a mid-size, body-on-frame SUV in 1998 and became a full-size SUV for its second generation, which ran from 2004 to 2009. That second-gen model saw declining sales year after year, going from 137,148 snails for the 2004 model year down to just 3,521 for the 2009 model year. The Durango then fell out of production for 2010, only 572 examples were sold that year, and by the time the 2011 model year came around, Dodge had redesigned the Durango into a full-size unibody that was sportier than ever with the more upscale interior. Engine options for the current generation have been limited to a 3.6-liter Pentastar and Dodge's 5.7-liter Hemi, but that is about to change now that Dodge is introducing the Dodge Durango SRT, which includes an even sportier exterior and interior package to go with a 6.4-liter Hemi, 392 cubic inches. Something that makes the Durango the fastest SUV in its class with an output of 475 ponies and 470 pound-feet of torque, that's one mean machine. If it seems to you like the Durango was ready to see its fourth generation before it got yet another trim level, then I would have to say I agree. The current generation has been on the market since 2011 and was updated for the 2014 model year. but. FCA is trying to hold off on pushing